chapter 4, verse 8. Listen carefully. The Bible says, Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Mark this word. Cleanse your hands. Mark this word. Cleanse your hands. You sinners. And purify your heart. Mark that word. Purify your heart. You double-minded. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, I reverse any arrows fired into my hands in the name of Jesus. I reverse any evil arrows fired into my hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. Today we are going on a topic called How to Know Your Hands Are Under Attack. How to Know Your Hands Are Under Attack. If you look at my previous video, I've talked about how to know if your when your legs are under attack. Today we are looking at the hands. We discovered that the hands and the legs are one of the most important organs of the body. Without the hands and the legs, work will be defeated. Success will be defeated. Progress will be defeated. Accomplishment will be defeated. One of the areas that the enemy attack also, it is the hand. Which is the labor of your hands, the leg. So we are going to look at the signs to know if your hands are under attack. The Lord has given us some signs for Christians or for Christians to know when these when these powers are attacking our hands. Hands are one of the most important parts of the body. They can touch, they can grasp, they can feel, they can hold something. Or people without the hands there will be no ability to touch or feel something with your hands in Psalm 128 verse 2 the Bible says for thou shalt eat the labor of the hands happy shall thou be and it shall be well with thee and it shall be well with you in Jesus name then the spiritual meaning of hands hands represent work hands represent gift hands represent skill Hands represent power. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hands represent glory. So when you are seeing the hand, it represents glory. It represents work. It represents gift. Praise the living Jesus. And I pray your hands will never be bewitched in Jesus' name. No doubt, the devil completely understand the usefulness of a man's hand. Without it, a person cannot walk. Or fulfill its purpose on earth. Our hands can be attacked or bewitched. Once this is done, the person will begin to have various issues with the hand, other pains on that hands, or other weakness on that hands, or the person will not be able to prosper with that hands. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. The devil targets the hands to make them go weak, physically and spiritually, and to and for that hand not to prosper. Praise the name of Jesus. Our hand is a symbol of glory. Our hand is a symbol of work and career. Our hands carries power. And the line of our palm is a symbol of the line of destiny. Unfortunately, many people's hands have been polluted, cursed, wicked, sick, or dead physically and spiritually. From the surface, from the surface of their hand, it seems that nothing is going bad with the hand until the person begins to experience signs that his hand, as his hands are under attack. Many times, people touch on clean things that will paralyze good things from lasting in their hands. For example, if baby always cry in your hands, anytime you want to carry baby, they always cry, 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 cry. It's not that the baby does, does not know you. Always cry. Sometimes, even your own baby will be crying. Sometimes you say, ah, is it, can it, can it happen? Your own baby will be crying. Anytime you want to carry, you will be crying. Does that make any sense to you? Sometimes you discover oh, you are carrying that people's baby. The baby will be crying. That's why the fact you give that person that, that, that baby biscuit or something, the baby will be crying. There are, are spiritual signs that your hands are under attack. If you are always walking without any form of success, your hands are under attack. Brethren, there are evil everywhere. Somebody will rub charms on his hands and shake you. They do this in order to steal 
and I'll turn the glory of your hand. Somebody will put their hands in charm on in charm. And that person will, 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 will shake you. you. Say, ah, how are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? They have attack, manipulate the glory of your hands. Ah, say evangelist, how, how, how possible is this this happen? Many people do this thing secretly. Sometimes you see some people. Whenever they want to talk to you, they'll be touching your touching your body, touching your chest with their hand. Ah! 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 They'll be touching your... Why sometimes you begin to imagine, how could somebody be touching my body when you are talking with me? I am not saying that those people are evil. But we have to be very, very careful. Praise the living Jesus. Tragedy begins when bad people snap your palm lines and use it to attack your hands. Today, we are going to tell you the signs that indicate that your hands are under attack, your hands are dead, your hands are paralyzed. It might not, it might not be that your hands are, nothing is, you say, oh, something is going on with your hand physically. No, spiritually, they have projected something. You, someone will just give you a handshake. Someone will just give you something. Before you know it, there's an instinct in the realm of the spirit. You discover that somebody, somebody will give you money. You can't go account where the money is going, for, going to. You just discover that. You start the project, no way. Your hands are under attack. You discover that anytime you want to do something good, something your hand will be hot. Your hands are under attack. You will discover that your hands are very weak. Your hands are under attack. You don't, you don't discover that somebody cuts your hand in the realm of the spirit. Your hands are under attack. Oh, you don't discover that ah, you just saw poo, poo, excretion, all this shit or poo on your hand. Your hands are under attack. So by the grace of God, I'm going to tell you the signs and symbols of a hand under attack. Number one, when nothing prosper in your hands. Nothing prosper in your hands. Even though somebody give you the best, the biggest vision, somebody give you 1 million, 20 million, 30 million, when they give you that money, within one minute, that money has disappeared. Nothing prosper in your hand. You begin to imagine, what's going on with my hands? Nothing prosper. Somebody will, she somebody will give you something. Hold something for me. Use it to invest. You discover that within some minutes, that money has disappeared. You start a project, but you are struggling with that project. Your hands are under attack. When not to prosper with in your hands, not to prosper. Your hands are under attack. You have to pray. But that God, any power that is attacking the labor of my hands, let that power die in Jesus' name. Number two side to show that your hands are under attack. When things suddenly fell off from your hands, you are holding something. Something are just falling off from your hands. You are holding book. They are just falling off from your hands. They show that your hands are under attack. Your hands are moving. Wish. You are just holding a phone now. The phone just fell. It's not that you are unconscious or something. Or you are just holding money. Or just discover that one particular thing will be falling off from your hand. These are not ordinary signs. They, they show that your hands are under attack. Something that falling off from your hand like that. Falling off from your hand. It could be money, it could be phone, it could be anything. Falling off from your hand. You have to pray. Anything you touch will scatter. That, that is the spiritual meaning. Anything you touch will disappear. You have to pray. Father God, they are taking away something from your hand. Father God, who is that power that is taking away my virtues from my hand? Father let that power be exposed. Return my virtues and die in Jesus' name. Number three sign that shows that your hands are under attack. When you start a thing and you can't finish it, your hands are under attack. You start a thing, you can't finish it. You want to build a land, you can't finish it. They give you a project, you start that project, you can't finish it. Your hands are under attack. You have to pray that God, my hands, I soak my hands in the blood of Jesus Christ. Number four sign that shows that your hand is under attack is when your hand is weak or outstroke. When your hand is weak or outstroke, you discover that your hands is weak, weak, weak. It's as if there's no strength on that hand. It's not that you are sick, but you just got your hands are very weak. It's just like you have stroke on that hand. You have stroke. There's a project you want to do, but you discover that you're weak. You're Anything good, something good is coming, your hand will be weak. It will be weak. It's sure that your hands are under attack. Stroke will just come. So that you have, it's not that you have one kind of big illness in your body that is making your hands to stroke, to have stroke or to weak. There are spiritual projections into your hands. What that means is that it indicates delay. 
delay, time wastage. But when your hand is weak, what do you think you can do? You can't do anything until you hit until that hand is healed. You have somebody, do you know somebody that has fracture on their hand? That person cannot do anything until that person will wait. That's the process of delay. I pray for you today. Every power that has destroyed the glory of your hand, that power will die in Jesus' name. Number five sign that shows that your hands are under attack. When your hands receive strange arrows in a dream, when your hands receive strange arrows in the dream, strange arrow, arrows in the dream, your hands are under attack. String arrows, string arrows. Somebody fire arrows into your hands. String arrows, bullets, string arrows into your hands. Your hands are under attack. They have killed your hand. They have killed your hand. Spiritual. Now it means somebody will hold money. You discover that that person will be spending money extravagantly. No saving. I evangelist. The economy is hard. No saving. No investment. Any money that comes, go. They have, a, they, they have a motto that says that once, once we spend this money, and that money is coming from, the enemy is killing them gradually. They are going down gradually as a result of this arrow that has been fired into their hand. I pray for you today. Every evil arrow that your hands have accumulated, today, that arrow will go back to the senders. We go back to the senders in Jesus' name. When your hand is anchored or tied in the dream, when your hands is anchored or tied in the dream, your hands are under attack. Somebody anchored your hand or tied your hand. That is captivity. That is bewitchment. That is restriction. Denial of progress. You have tied your hands. What that means is that physically nothing is going on with your hand. But you will discover that you will be having difficulties with that hand. Nothing will ever bring blessing with that hand again because the goodness of that hand has been tied down spiritually. You have to pray. Fire of God, lose my hand spiritually. Whoever that have tied my hand, Father, let your cutlass, the ass of God, break that rope, break that chains in Jesus' name. Number seven sign that shows that your hands are under attack. When you lose money mysteriously, when you lose money mysteriously in the dream, or even the physical world, you are losing money. They give you ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, hundred naira, fifty naira, thirty. You are just you are the one that spend. No, there's life. And let us enjoy today. You just spend money extravagantly. Your hands are under attack. Your hands are not healthy. They are under attack. You are spending money as as it comes. You are spending it. No, no. You, you just can't just say, okay, let me use this money to invest, to do something for my life, my destiny. You are spending it, your hands are under attack. The last sign, number eight sign that shows your hands are under attack is when animals bite your hand. This is very, very, very common among many people today. When animals bite your hand, animals like dog, animals like snake, animals like tortoise, they are biting your hands. Your hands are under attack. If you wake up from that dream and you are feeling that pain, what that sometimes that can that can re re result to termination of work because our hands represent work. Something bad news. You no, know, something will be delayed. That expectation will be delayed. That, 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 that plan will be delayed as a result of that spiritual bite. They are attacking your hands. Your hands are under attack. It has been bewitched spiritually. You have to pray that God, any evil animal. That has biting my hand. Father God, let that poison come out from my hand. Come out from my hand. Any evil hose around my hand, Father, let that hose be closed in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you have been dreaming about an attacked hands, what do you do? Number one, surrender your life to Christ. Renounce any sins your hands have committed. Three, cast out any spirit manipulating your hands. Four, cover your hands with the blood of Jesus. Instruction and back on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, any evil done to my hands be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus. Any evil done to my hands be reversed by fire in Jesus' name. Say, any mark of failure upon my hands.
blood of Jesus, wash it away in the name of Jesus. Any mark of failure upon my hands, blood of Jesus, wash it away in Jesus' name. Pray upon it. Take this prayer upon it. Say, O oh Lord, saturate my hand with your power in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, saturate my hand with your power in Jesus' name. Say, I cast out any unclean spirit tormenting my hands against the fulfillment of my dreams in the name of Jesus. I cast out any unclean spirit tormenting my hands against the fulfillment of my dreams. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are blessed by this broadcast, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.